What's up, everyone? Rosegrass 15's channel. It is I, Rosegrass 15. We're what? What? What's that? Hey! Who? Hey, what are you barking at? What? Quiet. I'm recording, Snickers. Jeez. Again. My dog always has to ruin these videos. I swear, man, that dog. He always wants to make a cameo in my videos. All right, what's up, guys? Rosegrass 15 back here again. <laughs> my dog wanted to have a cameo in the intro of the video. I don't know what he was barking at, guys. I seriously don't know. He barks at random. All right, uh, so we're going back into this. We're at chapter three of the Tekken 7 uh, story mode, and we're getting back into it, guys. All right, so what did we learn from the last playthrough? We learned that Heihachi threw his turn got his tournament back. I mean, he got, yeah, he got his corporation back, and now he's throwing another tournament. And this narrator is still boring, seriously. Uh, God, Jesus, why, why, why do people like this narrator? Who thought this narrator was a good idea? He doesn't fit with the game, right? It just feels so out of place. Y'all in the comments, let me know if you guys think the narrator feels fitting with this game. I think he feels very out of place. And I'm sorry if I keep talking over him, but that's why there's subtitles. Honestly, what he's talking about is pretty boring, guys. He's just talking about how the war is evil, and it made me feel sad. And it was terrible because the G Corporation's bad. Heihachi is a bad man. Blah, 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 blah. That's all he says. Jesus Christ, man. The missed target's name was Kazuya Mishima. Oh, man. Disposing of the guilty parties without so much as dirtying his hands. Mishima began to manipulate G Corporation. Mm -hmm. Is it over? Is it like a shot that you get at the doctor? Except they don't give you a lollipop at the end. Marksman. Okay, good. No more of that stupid narrator. I do not like that narrator. What the hell? Nina's using a tablet. She's playing Candy Crush, guys. What are you planning this time? She's on her 50th round already. She's already spent like $35 on DLC and stuff. She's using her son's credit card. Oh, shut up. The Fing Kazuya would mean nothing. What? What are they talking about? This is a nice ass airplane, by the way. Planning on using the society's underground network? I guess. Fun fact, for those who don't know, uh, Nina Williams' voice actress uh, actually did the voice of Mary from Silent Hill 2. And that's awesome, because I'm actually a big fan of Silent Hill 2, and I didn't realize that voice actress is still voicing video games to this day. I thought she was, you know, because most voice actors, at least American voice actors, don't get to voice things for that long. Usually they go away after a while, so the fact that she's still voicing Nina in this game is pretty badass, actually. So, fun fact. All right, so now we're going to Italy. So, yeah, here goes Nina and Heihachi and his awesome, awesome tux. Oh, leave him alone. By the way, I like how they're speaking completely different languages, you know, Japanese and English. How do they understand each other, right? Whoa, what the shit? What is this? It's the bird people from Assassin's Creed. Okay. We're not gonna talk about how how she did that flip. Alright. Cause screw physics. He's gonna break his neck, watch. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. The world's most powerful exorcist. I believe I decline your offers. Now keep in mind guys, this guy's Italian. We have a person speaking Italian, to a man that's speaking Japanese, to an assistant that's speaking English. That is some incredible understanding of, of multi-languages. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say they're multi-language people, okay? Maybe they, they have the highest degree in like learning uh, language translators. Maybe they took a class in that in school. Oh my god, dude, this game is crazy. The story is just making no sense. Whoa! Alright, whoa, what, what? Look at this awesome coat I have. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Nice try. Take that. You're done. 
Nice try. Did you see that? Oh god. Oh god. No. No. He's dead, guys. He's dead. Wait, it's not over yet. What? I dodged it. Full crap. Did you guys see? Did you see that nonsense? I totally sidestepped it. Whatever, game. You got a cheap hit on me. Nope, nope, I did mine. I did mine. What? Who's gonna get it? What? What? That should have been a counter hit. What? What? But I hit mine after his, which. But. But, 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 but I suck. I gotta do that again. That was, that was bullshit, guys. I totally hit my rage art. That should have punished him. God, that was bullcrap. Sidestep! Oh my god. Nice! Kick him in the crotch. Get out. Take that. Oh my god, that's annoying. Get out. Get out. Oh my god, stop! All right, here. Okay, I'm gonna try to sidestep, guys. I'm gonna try to sidestep. Look, I'm sidestepping. I think you're supposed to get hit there, no matter what. I don't think you can dodge that. Bull crap. That move did so much damage. Oh my god. I hate that move so much. Where he shoot? What is he shooting? Like a blue arrow? I don't know what the hell he's shooting. He's shooting his like blue uh, dandruff thing. Cause it looks like it's coming out of his hair. Shooting that minty, uh, minty freshness arrow at me. All right, I got this, guys. Oh god, no! Get out! Uppercuts. I'm cheating. I know I'm using the story assist moves. I don't care. The AI's cheating. I can cheat too. Take that. All right, we got him, guys. We got him. I swear, you can't. Look, guys, I'm gonna try again to dodge. You see? I'm sidestepping. I think you're supposed to get hit by that no matter what. Bullshit. I swear, guys, I'm dodging before you say, like, Jerry sucks at dodging. I swear. You all let me know if you played that part of the game. Now, that part, that part, I was not ready for that. I'll admit, that part, I, I could have dodged. But I was ranting about how you can't dodge the first part of that. Jesus Christ, let me just beat this guy. I never thought an Italian dude would beat me up this badly. He's the Rocky Balboa of, uh, of uh, Tekken characters. Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, oh no! Oh boy. Get out. No. No! What the hell's going on? Ah. Someone pass me a Snickers because you're not new when you're hungry. Oh my god, dude. This guy is going down. Sidestep. Hit him. Why does he. You can't block that. It's bullcrap. Oh boy. Oh my god, jeez. She's in crackers. Remember guys, this is on the hardest difficulty. Look, he stays on the floor. He's smart. Oh my god. What? I'm still Bull! That was bull. I hit him. How many times has this been already? Like the sixth time? I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. But this fight, I'm telling you guys, don't be surprised if you do this fight a lot. Because it's bullcrap, guys. Seriously. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just pissed off with this game's AI. 
I'm not lowering the difficulty. I know I said I would if I got frustrated, but I'm not. I'm not a quitter. Get out. You can't dodge it! What the hell? I didn't dodge it the last time. Okay, I feel stupid now. I'm sorry. I owe this game an apology and all my viewers an apology. You can dodge it. It's just real... Are you shitting me? I am speechless. I can't believe this. How can this be? Open your eyes and maybe you'll see, Jerry. Oh, God. So you can dodge it. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know why the other five times I couldn't do it before, but this time it does. All right, I'm not questioning it, though. Fine. So you can dodge it, guys. I owe you guys an apology. It's just the timing on this so specific. Okay. You have to dodge it at the right time. Okay, didn't dodge it that time. That was my fault. That was clearly my fault. I don't care if I'm using the same move. At this point... Oh my... God! <laughs> okay, we can do this, guys. One more attempt. If not, I'm lowering the difficulty. At this point, screw it. This is going on for too long. I swear, guys, I'm not bad at this game. I just, I don't know. They are just being a bitch. Look at that. See, I hit him. Oh, God. Get at it. Look at the damage. No! That is so- Okay, we're done. We are done with this story mode. I'm never playing this again. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Chill out. I'm gonna just lower the- I'm gonna lower the difficulty. I have to! Cause the game's being a boo-boo head. Click the wrong button, sorry. See, now it's fair. The other time, it was just playing real unfair, man. Look, I know I'm... I'm just mad. I'm salty. Oh, man. I'm just salty right now. Get out. Gonna again. Gonna sidestep. Just beat him up. I'm mad at this point. Nope, I'm blocking it. Get out, you Italian bastard. Get out. Finally, Jesus. I didn't want to have to lower the difficulty, but I was getting real frustrated, guys. I have the strength of a devil. I have, right now, I have the rage of a devil right now from this fight, because damn, dude, it was pissing me off. And there, again, there goes Nina with the nuke. You guys know what a nuke is? That's what she has. So basically, Hayachi wants to go find Kazuya because he needs to kill him. To bring down the devil himself. Alright. This is probably the most Christian game you ever play. It's about killing demons. Alright. I think this and Doom are about like the only games I can think of where you kill demons. Well, Devil May Cry as well. That's another game series about that. God, that fight was bullcrap. Seriously. Alright. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to switch the difficulty back. Yes, I'm going to switch it back to 10 stars again. We're not going to play the rest of the game. It was only for... I'm only... We're, new rule. We're only going to switch to 5 stars. 
if the fight is just too hard and I just like after like a couple of attempts if I get frustrated I'll do it on five stars but I, I don't want to just rely on five stars because I know it's not really testing myself but you guys saw how bullcrap the fight was it's because it's that stupid arrow move he hits you once with it and it takes like 60% of your health it's nuts it's nuts overwhelming power yes that's the way to describe that move He's at the library, guys, the narrator. Back to the boring narrator, Jesus. So he's looking up the history. Basically, he's looking up Wikipedia articles about the Tekken story. Anybody can do that. Did you see that? There was like an old lady at the computer. The Mishimas were warriors hailing back as far as the Taira and Minamoto eras. So, damn. So they've been around for a long, long time, apparently, the Mishimas. Who, Heiachi and Kazuya? Oh, Jinpachi. Oh yeah, the grandpa. He was the main villain in Tekken 5, guys, by the way. Um... Yes, he wanted to practice martial arts. Damn, the dad just took over. Damn. As its head, Heihachi secured its reputation. This is getting very political, guys. This is getting very political and accurate. Talking about graphs and shit. Jin Kazama. Seizing control from Heihachi, he reigned over his empire. Oh my god, all this exposition. Jesus Christ. He's also the one who started this damn war. Damn war. Gotta find a damn four of chaos emerald. He wants to kill him with his bare hands. Yeah, well, you know what? You're killing me with your boredom, dude. Okay, so shut up. I like how Heihachi's okay with, like, bringing this random Italian exorcist to a secret hideout. Do you know something? I know it's not secret, it's just a big building. How do they all understand each other? What is going on in the story, guys? I mean, it's not a bad story, it's just really... Like... It's so weird. It's so convoluted and... I don't know. Now they gotta go find Jen. There he is. He's taking a nap. That's probably what anybody's doing right now. With th that's actually the writers. The writers of the story mode, they're actually doing that. That's how they wrote the story. Seriously, this story is so nonsense, guys. I apologize. I know I keep talking bad about the story, but I don't know. The story just doesn't make any damn sense. I mean, I get the basic concept of the story. It's that, you know, they want to... Dad wants to take back his corporation, kill his son, and also the devil gene, but... You know, the stuff in between is just so convoluted, you know, got like the organization and the military and this, this, this reporter looking at libraries and talking to reporters and newspaper articles and all this bullshit. No one, what, 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 what is going on? What is this game even doing? I think I'm losing my mind playing this. All right, all right, all right, all right. just don't think too hard about the story, Jerry. Just don't think too hard about it. It's just a video game. It's what happens when they, oh God, his eyes. Whoa, what in the hell? Okay, that's uh, he's got that uh, red uh, Kool-Aid beam that he's shooting in the sky. A market in the Middle East. What is this, Assassin's Creed 17 or what? What is this? What is this? Okay, what's going on? What? Oh, it's Jin. He escaped apparently. He shot a laser in the sky and he got away. I don't know what you're doing here, Jin. I don't know. The hell? That guy's voice is over the top. This way! He's over there! We gotta take him down, guys! Look, listen to his voice. I'm not being funny. That's his voice. What the shit? Okay, an army truck just jumps in. Okay. Uh-oh. It's Jin's cousin, Lars Alexanderson. And he's got a serious bad haircut. Look at that. It looks like my hair when I wake up in the morning. 
That's me after I take a long shower at night and go to sleep with wet hair. That's the kind of hair you get. Whoa! Now it becomes Call of Duty! Now it becomes Call of Duty. Yeah! Look at this game. This game's awesome. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Just shoot him. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. It becomes Call of Duty. Yeah, this game's awesome. Okay, enough of that. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Die! I have a gun, sir. This is so weird, it becomes Call of Duty. Look at this. What am I playing? Resident Evil 4 here? Or Resident Evil 6 is actually more accurate. Damn! Alright, Lars is awesome, dude. This is the coolest Naruto character. And by the way, guys, I'm not being funny. He's actually a character in Naruto. Like in, the, in one of the fighting games, he actually comes out in it. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not sure what Naruto game it is. I think it's like Naruto Ultimate Jinpitsu Shippuden 3X Plus Alpha on the Xbox 360 or something. I don't know what it's called. Honestly, I don't play Naruto. I'm not really a fan of Naruto. Whoa! Jump over that bus. Military guys. Damn it, he got away. If only we were no we were no match for his machine gun and his uh and his Jeep. Okay guys, I didn't get to switch the difficulty. I want to switch the difficulty to harder. I think it's still on five stars. What I'm gonna do is probably exit and change it. Yes, it's Lars Nina. I'm gonna exit right now so I can put this shit on ten stars because I, that part was a little too easy. That's the story in a nutshell. She subbed up the story in a nutshell. Thanks, Nina. And again, guys, I don't hate this game. I know I sound like I'm ranting, because I am ranting. I have every right to rant about the story mode, guys. It's just dumb. Even Mr. G Star 321 uh, he's a YouTuber that does a lot of Let's Plays and stuff. He's real funny. He's actually from uh, Austria. Australia, sorry. Um, I said Austria, my bad. Australia, he's from Australia, and he actually says he hates the story mode of this game. I don't blame him, it's really dumb, but hey, as long as you can have fun. Is that Akuma? Is that Goki? That was Akuma, guys. That was the guy from Street Fighter. What? Alright, we're gonna cut the playthrough right there, guys. Alright, we're gonna resume Chapter 5 on the next playthrough. I'm gonna put this back on the hardest difficulty. We are gonna resume this on 10 stars. This game... Uh, it's almost over guys. Like I said, it's only 14 chapters. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My thoughts in the story mode is that it's not terrible, but uh, it's just it, it doesn't mesh well. They, like I like the parts that are fun like the over-the-top stuff like, you know, Heihachi kicking missiles and the playing the Tekken 5 intro, you know, that's fun But then you got all this exposition and dialogue and nonsense and it's just what like have fun with the story You know like god, it's just so dumb Honestly, if you want a good story mode in a fighting game, I think games like Mortal Kombat X or Injustice 2, especially Injustice 2, have a far better story. Because this game's story, it's not bad. It's better than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which, you know, if I, I, I might do a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite playthrough on this channel if I ever buy the game. But I'm never touching that story mode. That story mode in that game is just, it's just a pile of cringe. It's just... Ugh. All right, guys, I'm ranting. Okay, look, listen, guys, I don't want you guys. I don't want to end this on a negative note. So uh, I'm having fun with this game, guys. Hope you're having fun. Again, I'm making fun of this game because I love having fun with it. And again, I'm making fun of it as a comedian. I know this game's great. Don't worry. Don't, I don't want to hear any people say, you just hate the story mode, so he hates Tekken 7. I don't hate this game again. I'm just making fun of the story mode because it is dumb, guys. It's convoluted. It's over the top. It's silly. It's got one of the dumbest and boringest narrators I've ever heard of any fighting game. But gosh darn it, I'd be lying if I said I'm not having fun with this over the top story mode that doesn't make any sense guys this has been your boy jerry hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough and uh yeah